Hopefully we go all the way green on the final 10 laps. That's what we'll have this time by. It'll be Kyle Busch on the high side, Brad Keselowski underneath him. Then it's Edwards and Leffler in the second row, and we're back to the green flag here at Iowa. The leader sets the pace, and Kyle says, I'm getting out of here. Boy, and he is shot out of a cannon. Leffler on the high side, taking third away from Carl. So that is a setback for Edwards. Coming out of four, it is still Kyle Busch in front of Brad Keselowski. While all this is going on, we'll... Ricky Stenhouse Jr., our pole sitter, is slow through turn four. Looks like he may be heading for pit lane and does. We'll stay on the battle here. First and second are trying to check out. Carl's trying to get third place back. Well, they got nine laps to go. They got to get it done right now. And you see the 88 car getting his nose underneath Kyle Busch. It's not over. It's a drag race. Oh, at the stripe. Who has the lead this time by? Keselowski officially is given credit for the lead, and he clears him heading through two. So all of a sudden, Keselowski Chevrolet comes to life. Boy, that missing happy hour last night might not have been a bad thing for these guys. I tell you, that's just what he needed to get this thing out in front. And now he can guard the top of the track, guard the bottom lane. He could drive with his mirror right now for the next eight laps. Boy, these fans are going crazy. I'm not sure if they're that much Brad Keselowski fans or they're anti-Kyle Busch fans. No matter what happens, if it stays the same, Kyle Busch is going to tie another record. It'll be nine races in a row where he will have finished first or second. Jack Green Ingram holds the mark. If nothing changes, he's guaranteed to tying that mark. I guarantee you, though, he wants to be first. And this time by, here we go, six laps to go. Let's get the latest on the 88. Rick. Well, think about this. Tony Urey says that the car, the Brad car, was not as good on these tires. That means this is all Brad doing this right now. He's overcoming his tire problem and managing to pull off the lead. And he is holding on to it through turns three and four. This time by, it'll be five laps to go, and not a single person in these grandstands is seated. Right up, tucked underneath him is Kyle Busch. Down into one. They're still nose to tail. Rusty, one of the things that you taught at an early age, never look in the mirror when you're in the lead. And look at this. He's going to the bottom right now. He chose the bottom lane, the 18 car, Kyle Busch. Down into three. Can he make it stick, or does he have the feather to hold on to the race line? High side seems to have it, and it is Keselowski. This time by four laps to go. Brad has kind of moved up into Kyle's lane. He, Kyle can't run the bottom as good as Brad can. Brad seen him coming. He's not taking your lane away. He, he is trying. The 18 car has really got some momentum off of turn two and down the back straight. We're trying to run him down as he get into three. Keselowski with about two car lengths on the 18 of Kyle Busch. They come out of four. This time by three laps remaining. Down into three, or down into one again, and take a look. The, the middle lane is where Kyle has to run right now, and Brad has been able to get to the bottom of the racetrack. Brad's tires have been wonderful. His car is really hooked up. The older tires, the hotter tires, the quicker the 88 is. Let's listen to the crowd as they come by with now two laps remaining. Down into one again, that low line, and boy, he is just able to hug the bottom. But right now, Marty's got the opportunity to look in his mirror, block him off if he's got to. He can see where Kyle's gonna go, and he'll move that baby right up in front of him and block that line, but right now, from what I've seen, he just got a faster car, about a tenth of a second faster than Kyle Busch right now. White flag is out, listen to the crowd. Seven-eighths of a mile to traverse for the 88 of Brad Keselowski. And who says you need practice? We're talking about practice, boys. <laughs> Down the back straightaway, the last time into turn number three with plenty of air to spare. The 88 of Brad Keselowski with his second win and an inaugural win at Iowa. What a big wing that was. Kyle Busch second, Jason Leffler third, Carl Edwards fourth, Kelly Byers fifth, Jason Keller up to sixth at the end, Kenny Wallace seventh, McDowell eighth, Legacy ninth, and Stephen Light rounds out your top ten. For two days we've been hearing that tires didn't matter. Tires didn't matter. He was 105 laps on his tires. Let's hear from Pops. What a great decision to keep him out. I said, you either look like the goat or you're a genius. Pops is the genius, Rick. Pops has got Gatorade dumped on him up here on the stand. All right, well, with the last yellow, you were saying you were worried. You didn't think he had the tires to do it. How'd he do it? Well, I mean, 
like I said before, our car run the same speed. It didn't matter where they had new tires or the old tires. And I think the uh, the air pressure on new tires hurt us worse than the old tires did. So, uh, you know, we talked. We had plenty of time to talk about it. We had about three laps there, and uh, you know, it was good to, to bring that Go Daddy Chevrolet uh, here to Iowa and win in the uh, backyard of Go Daddy. So, uh, you look pretty emotional when that guy went across the line. Well, the whole wins are emotional. <laughs> He's backed up against the wall and just burning the cords to the tires in the rear. And boy, what a celebration right now in front of this packed house. He might be running out of gas in that thing, but he don't care. He's going to burn it down. He don't care if the motor's sealed. Uh, We're not using this thing again, baby. Man, whenever you win an inaugural race anywhere, it's big. And this is a real big one. Not one person has left this house. Not one person is trying to get on the highway. $135,000 at least, the payday. That's $75,000 nationwide, cash for dash. And there it is, right there, the victory celebration beginning. And we'll talk to our winner in victory lane here at Iowa. It's Brad Keselowski's day. Happy birthday to his dad. He's 58 today. What a present. Back here at Iowa Speedway where Brad Keselowski will go on the first ever trophy to be presented here. His fourth Nationwide Series win in his 90th race and second win of the year. And look at Pops poking his head into the cockpit as uh, he's just resting just a moment and it's time to head to victory lane as the celebration is really going to get rowdy. Brad Keselowski doing a little crowd surfing with his team right here, knowing he just won an extra $75,000. We got to talk about that last restart. It's even got his name on it already. The fact that uh, there was some question about whether you had the tires to pull that off at the end. How did you do it? And we just, uh, Wielder, man, uh, had an awesome car. This GoDaddy.com Chevrolet was fast. And, uh, you know, Kyle was a little better on short runs, and he put them two tires on, and uh, he had a little for me. And uh, we are in trouble, but... Uh, just kept digging hard and, and forced the mistake on Kyle's part and was able to drive by him and uh, just goes to show the strength of this team. Uh, this is the coolest place I could win, 75,000 from Nationwide and uh, appreciate that. And then my sponsors, Rafe, with GoDaddy.com. Just uh, what a great race to win. Uh, really shows the strength of this team and where we're heading and uh, can't wait for more good things to come, that's for sure. I appreciate all these fans that came out here, man. This, uh, this place deserves a cup race, they really do. I mean, when you get support like we got today from the fans, uh, that just shows how strong this community is. All right, now let's talk about the decision to stay out that last time. I mean, it was a very last second decision. Did you have doubts about it? Oh yeah, of course you have doubts about it. If I finished second, I'd be kicking myself right now, but uh, it worked out, so, uh, you know, I'm feeling pretty good about it. All right, the big question is, you didn't even go to the last practice. You were dialed in, you had a, how did you get it dialed in so well? Well, you know, Rusty gave me a hard time about that. I kind of I was a little upset with you, Rusty, but uh, <laughs> you know, I, I guess it showed we were right. And uh, you know, I gotta tell you what, you, what we did, but uh, it worked, so. Um, Nothing better than getting the last laugh on Rusty Wallace. Uh, yeah, it, it's, uh, he's up here going, yep, yeah, I was wrong. That's okay, Rusty. Uh, but you know what? Most of the times it doesn't pay off that way. They were wow. just really on their mark. Uh, he did a great job. He's awesome. I mean, I, yeah, to stay, it just shows the strength of the team. They're not even practice to be that strong. But, man, what a race. I couldn't believe what I saw. I, I, I'm just so happy for this community, for Iowa, to see a race like they saw today. One of the things we talked to Pop early in the race, before the show started, all day Thursday, they practice for this race. We talked to a lot of guys, and a lot of guys practice Thursday for all kinds of racetracks. Pop says, I'm practicing here. I don't have to go happy hour. Let's go win a race. Well, Mike Massaro has caught up with Kyle Busch. Let's check in with him. And it was a hard-fought effort by Kyle Busch. Came up just a little bit short, but how would you describe that battle with the 88? Uh, good battle, but uh, Pizza Ranch Toyota wasn't good enough today, I guess. Uh, or I wasn't good enough, probably me, but we fought tight off all day, and then there at the end we're loose off. So I just, I don't know what to do to win these races, but um, very, very disappointing, very, very frustrating. And uh, I guess I just come here to finish second at these deals. I know this is little consolation to you, but you did tie a record today. Nine consecutive top two finishes. What's it mean to tie Jack Ingram's mark? Just imagine if all those seconds were wins. That would be very impressive. Guys, you can tell that uh, Kyle Busch is pretty disappointed.